Hi, in this video, you will learn how to set up your GNSS receiver to get corrections via Intrip using internet connection. We show this procedure on an excavator, but the process is the same on all MC1 solutions. There are seven steps. Select connection type, establish internet connection, connect to Intrip server, configure Intrip mount point settings, define the base station parameters, set the machine's antenna parameters, and final check. Step 1. Select connection type. We start in the main menu. Press Positioning. Open the GNSS Profile option. Press New. Decide which RTK source to use. We choose Modem. Now we can select the mode and protocol. Online and Intrib are selected by default, and we keep that. Note the warning. We must ensure that a SIM card is inserted in the GNSS receiver. If not, we cannot proceed. When the SIM card has been recognized, the next arrow appears, and we can go to the next page. Step 2. Establish Internet Connection. Enter the SIM card's PIN code. A green check mark and the message Valid PIN confirms that the PIN code has been verified. Go to next page. Enter the APN string as defined by the SIM card provider. Depending on the SIM card provider, we may need to enter APN username and password. Press Connect to Internet. Note, it can take some time to connect. Remember that the user reference manual contains all the details. A green check mark and the message connected confirms that the internet connection is established. Go to next page. Connect and log in to the Intrip server. We go to the next page and enter the details from the Intrip subscription. These are server address, server port number, subscription user ID, subscription password. A green check mark and the message connected confirms that the connection to the Intrip server is established. Go to next page. Step 4. Configure Intrip mount point settings. A chief surveyor defines which mount point settings best serve the job site area and the specific type of data to receive. The settings are the mount point name and the network type. They work like a pair. We can choose mount point settings from the list provided by the Intrip server or enter the settings manually. Here we select a mount point from the list. As directed by the surveyor, we choose the right mount point and the associated network type. If you have any doubt about which mount point settings to use, just get in contact with your local Leica dealer. Go to next page. Set the base station parameters. Here we select the default settings for base station reference, reference sensor, and reference antenna. Go to next page. Step 6. Set the machine's antenna parameters. Select the antenna type used on the machine. Here we select CGA100 for both primary and secondary antennas. Go to next page. Step 7. Final check. This page gives an overview of the correction status for the new GNSS positioning profile. The profile is given a default name based on the configuration made during profile creation. We can change it by pressing here. Enter new name and press OK. Look for position type. This shows fixed, meaning that we have a reliable GNSS position fix on the machine, so we are ready to work. Press the flag to save and store. Press OK to go back to main menu. That's it. You have learned how to set up your DNSS receiver to get corrections via Intrib using Internet Connection.